Manufacturers are starting to put more focus on the environment, producing laptops with more and more recycled materials. Acer is a front-runner in that regard and the Aspire Vero AV1451 embodies it perfectly. The whole laptop is made from recycled plastic, which has a green tint and debossed logos all around, with Acer on the lid while the base has an Intel Core logo. The chassis is covered in speckles and has a rougher finish, which makes it very grippy. Thankfully, the lid opens with one hand and acts as a lever, lifting the rear end, for both cooling and ergonomics purposes. Due to the laptop's smaller stature, weighing only 1.5 kilograms, and having a 14-inch form factor, the keyboard lacks a numpad. The keys have long key travel and clicky feedback. There's also a backlight. The touchpad is covered by ocean-retrieved plastic. The surface is smooth and has an embedded fingerprint reader, which doesn't affect the experience at all. The laptop has two full-sized USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one Thunderbolt 4, an HDMI connector, and a 3.5mm audio jack. The 14-inch Full HD IPS display is a great addition to this device. The viewing angles are excellent, so videos and movies will look great regardless of where you're looking at the notebook. It has good max brightness of 305 nits and great 2020 to 1 contrast ratio which is one of the best we've ever tested on a laptop. The panel has excellent creator capabilities, covering 95% of the sRGB color gamut and showing decent accuracy with the stock settings, which gets even better once our design and gaming profile is applied. You'll find a link in the description below the video. The laptop gets very good battery life with its 53 watt hours unit and a Core i5-1235U, lasting for 11 hours and 11 minutes of web browsing, or 10 hours and 56 minutes of video playback on a single charge. That wouldn't be possible without the most efficient Intel chips that Team Blue currently has in its Alder Lake arsenal. The U-Series comes with a high core count, with the Core i5-1235U specifically beating its Tiger Lake counterparts, but still falling short when competing against the 3D rendering performance of AMD and its Ryzen 5000U series. The integrated graphics on the inside are ideal for this device, keeping power usage to a minimum while managing to deliver performance both in productivity and daily usage. You can also play some light games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive with about 80 FPS on medium settings. By the way, you can subscribe to our new Laptop Media Benchmarks channel, we've spent two years to test all the laptop graphics cards on the market, with all popular games, on all graphics presets. The cooling setup here is simple, with two heat pipes that connect to one fan and one heatsink. In the stress test, it does throttle, dropping its wattage from 55 watts in the short run to 28 watts at the 15 minute mark. Of course, this laptop isn't made for video editing so that's okay. Comfort-wise, the laptop is quiet, as the single fan can't produce a loud noise, despite trying its hardest. The hotspot has a low temperature, maxing out at 40 degrees Celsius, even after 30 minutes of 100% load. The teardown process is simple, check out our dedicated disassembly video. Upgradeability does suffer a bit, with the memory being soldered onto the motherboard. Still, you can access the storage, through one M.2 PCIe X4 slot that supports Gen 4 drives. The Aspire Vero finally presents a quality offering for those who care about the environment and want to dedicate their laptop to the cause as well. Previously, such gimmicks would charge a pretty penny, but in 2022, the laptop is affordable, while not sacrificing anything of importance. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.